high school. Now we'll go on with bacteria, microorganisms, and virus. Today we're just going to talk about virus. virus. Okay, so wait. The virus. Yeah, it something like this. Well, uh, not there yet. Okay, yeah. virus. Remember, it's not a living thing. It's yes. a non-living thing. Yes, actually, a lot of molecules together. Okay, a virus it can be something like inside. There's a lot of these DNAs. Mostly, just DNAs, RNAs, or proteins. Okay? Yes. Some proteins. Okay? And each and every bacteria, I mean virus, there's a receptor. And sometimes they can attack bacteria. These are, sometimes we call it the keys. We don't really call it keys. Yes. We just say it as something like keys to the door. Yes. And every single of these keys only fits one type of door. If we get it wrong, it will try another one, another one, and another one. Until it gets the correct one. Yes. And then it can enter the cell. Okay? Okay? That's why it need to look different. Is that a Mickey video? Okay, so there's lots and lots of these little things. We can't count any too small. Anyway, a bacteria can't even see it. If the bacteria have eyes. Yes. They just feel why are they like little hairs? But actually these bacteria they are non-living things. Yes. Okay? It's just although they have DNA, but they are still non-living things. You know why? They're just proteins. No, but not all have this shield. I know, they just a molecule made by molecules one. They're not that big. Molecules are super tiny. I know. I why are you drop that big? I never make it big. Try it. Okay, so this is a virus. Virus, they can be like a middle virus. That's also, they're also not that small. I mean that big. They're still too big. That means like this. Okay, they can be the measles, they can be the Ebola, the Marvel, the SARS, and they also got the influenza, and then there's many types. The SARS, the blood virus, the T4 bacteriophage virus, and any others. Yes, the T4 bacteria. Um, we're not here. Okay, what's this? Okay, first. Let's talk about the influenza. It's something like this already. So just get rid of this. Well, this influenza, you might not know what's in the middle. It can be DNA, RNA, or proteins. Let me just drop that off. We don't know what is inside. It can be anything. Let's try the outside. Okay, this is the influenza. Also, the flu. Yes. It can cause fever. We oh, just call it high temperature. Yes. High temperature. It can cause high temperature. Or, there's many things, right? Yes. Vomiting, diarrhea. But most of the vomiting are for children. Are most common in children. What's that? Vomiting. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay, there also can be a headache. Yes, headache. The head. <laughs> okay? Okay, these are the flu. Flu, there's a vaccine. Back. 
sea to destroy them. Okay? Yeah, and maybe the young, like little children and very old people, they'll need to gather almost every year. The very young people and the very old? The very young and the very old. Okay? So that only these two or can be other also unless okay. they are strong. Yeah, just that your body is not strong. Like sick people and then suddenly you get another influenza. For example, those people who are infected with Ebola, but then suddenly get flu. Then your system will be already. Okay? Imagine if the Ebola already attacked for more than a week. Yeah, your system will be weak, right? Yes. And flu comes and pneumonia. I mean, the, I the measles. Then it will be very weak, right? Wait, what's that? Can I sick. Hit? Why? Fever. Fever? What do we even put on your head when there's I fever? Ice pack? No. We I will. Uh. The one. Usually, we don't put ice packs when we got a fever. Why? It's because that ice packs are actually trying to because that high temperature for the body is actually trying to kill those viral the bacteria right but high temperature helps to kill it and when you cool down this temperature these virus bacteria can have the chance to attack us so when we have high fever or fever we just let it we just stay at home. We eat medicines because that actually the fever and high fever medicine are meant for these bacteria. Okay. Yes. And that's why suddenly our fever drop. But don't tell me that it dropped to seventy degrees. Yes. And that's what about other okay. Way? If it is like that suddenly drop, it's called a sudden drop. Okay. Now we're not talking about that. Okay. Back to the. Influenza or the flu. You know our vac vaccines? Yes. Vaccine. Is it good? Only if you're sick, any vaccines? This year I'm gonna get a vaccine. Why? P1, P5, get vaccines. And then P5. We also call vaccines and the when shot. And when young people are gone, sometimes you just, if a young people, when the baby does born, it may be just need a vaccine. We both have a vaccine. Okay, so the vaccine. Okay, maybe not yes. this thick over here. It's actually very the same inside. Thin. Okay, so these are mainly the medicine. Yeah. Okay. The medicine. So these vaccines are actually very handy. Yes. They because you know what are actually vaccines with? What? It's just the weaker version of these virus or bacteria. And this weaker version, our immune system can easily defeat them. So we'll remember these bacteria. And when a, a little bit stronger version comes, we also can kill it. And if it's a little bit more stronger, we also can because our immune system divided, developed. Get it? Oh. Um, why, do, why does it inject in our bone? This is the hand. Hand? Hand? How about the hand look like this? <laughs> it seems like Pac-Man. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 
sometimes the vaccine can be in, injected anywhere. Okay? From your arm to your feet. Okay? Uh, well, not really at the feet. Okay? Just mainly at the arm. Or maybe can be at different arm. places of the arm for a different person. Okay? Okay. Also can have doubles. Everybody should have it. Yep. Okay. When they're both, they must have it. So are you clear on these food or influenza? Yes. Okay. Next. Ebola. Can it control? Can it control? No, it just damage our nerves. Damage our nerves? But it no, can it's not mostly damage our nerves. I know. But it can cause to Okay. Like we are talking about the immune system, these people are they look like strands of things, right? And what did the ritual um what they have wrong DNA? Okay, so I get it. I get it why they enjoy it. The DNA inside. Yes, exactly. This Ebola. This is Ebola. Okay. That's how Ebola. Okay. Okay. So this, they might enter the immune system. First of all, they can take over these macrophages. Okay. Yes. Why are cells smaller than the virus? No. Virus I mean, are tons smaller. Not the cells. <laughs> The bacteria already this big, tons bigger. Is the bacteria? No, that's the virus because yeah. they have drawn the Ebola. So the bacteria must be of this size. So the cell must be of this big. It was smaller than the bacteria. Must be tons bigger. Okay, each are 10 times. Like this. Like this. Um, that's too big. Okay, don't be crazy. Okay. Okay, just draw your viral smaller. Okay? Okay. Okay, first is the macrophages okay. out here. Okay, here. Yes. Then, these virus just take Wait, over. Wait, there's a virus. Wait. How could it still be that big? Okay. So usually you'll be like this. Okay, okay. Okay, first they take over, then control these cells, then neutrophils come. Neutrophils, when they aren't supposed, then they call for a fluid to come. Okay, and this just doesn't help. But causes mayhem. And this is the internal bleeding. Another place is can be the liver. The liver, yeah. these virus found it very easy. They can hey, infect it can be the, the they can infect it very easily. I should be the Ebola. They find it very easy to infect okay. the liver. And there will be bleeding, internal bleeding, okay? It will be like that. Okay? Okay. Then, after the liver, they can go and attack the lungs. Well, not really the lungs. They can go to the brain. What? Okay. And this time, the brain of the immune system. Okay, the dendritic cell. We haven't get to the brain yet. Okay. Okay. The dendritic cell comes to figure out what to do, but then it gets infected. Travels to wait, the lymph node. Wait, wait, wait. First, you draw it, draw it, then. First, then. Too late. Too late, dendritic cell. But then it gets infected. For example, it feels the infected, okay? No, this is the infected because here yeah, have Ebola. Okay. So. But it went too far. 
So all your letters and dots for when it is in fact, okay? Okay? Then the trouble to do is T cell, B cell, T cell for screen. Not B cell. Then, if, for example, they come here, right? Yeah. Deliver some kind of toxic, or maybe like messenger protein, or those are all those enzymes. Then they'll just die out. They are asking for the dendritic cell what to do. But the dendritic cell just kills them. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Then what happens is that it all just die. Uta all die? It gives to others. It made more Ebola. It can kill us. Infected. Okay, like this, but many, many are doing the same thing. Now, our body very weak. Is but it? they are not about to give up yet. Yes. Some dendritic cell might survive. Okay, like this one survive. They go to another lymph node. Activate everybody. Activate everybody. Okay. Activate and resales. But sometimes may but actually sometimes may attack the lymph node. Attack the lymph node. Okay. Yeah, let the lymph node. So all of these are going on at the same time. One, two, three, and might be attacking the brain also. But then yes, the brain. The brain. You can have like coma, okay, so and all sorts of... And sometimes it can cause death. Yes, that's the most important thing. There will be like things exploding everywhere in your body. No, 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 no. Right? Yes. All these are going on at the same time. Yes. So can you imagine it? So this can also cause pneumonia. Yeah, it can cause other virus to come, other bacteria to come. Yes, and they all attack at the same time. We do even more worse. Right? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Like this. <laughs> Why does that look so weird? That they all are this. Okay. Okay? But you sometimes right, make it. <laughs> but right now your body launches a final kind storm. Bomb. Not bomb. So final kind storm. All weapons come. Large. Ah, Ebola is back to get defeated. No. <laughs> it will like dying. When you get the title kind storm, you will be very, very weak. All of your cells start dying and your eyes start to, to become red and everything's running up. You will keep wanting for water. Okay? With eyes. Okay? Yes. And again, and you can die very soon, actually. Okay. If you, if bacteria, if another storm of bacteria come, then that's worse. Or else, you know, so worse. Another storm of Ebola. Okay, maybe that's worse. But the deadliest, the HIV. Damage, damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now you get your about the Ebola. Yeah. Okay. Next is the SARS. Yes. SARS. Okay. This is the people infected by well, the SARS. Is oh, actually no. the respiratory system that being damaged. Okay. A drug so it's called, called a severe acute respiratory uh, 
now? Okay. Okay, I, I forgot what the last is. Here are the people impacted by scars. Okay. Scars? Sores. Yes. Not scars. Sores. Okay, okay, so they're just like those virus, okay? So we don't need to talk really much. So they're just those kind like of virus, okay? Strand of the 
DNA, it's a little bacterial, right? Right. Why okay. is it like so this come down? Okay, and here's the connecting place. And remember, this is the part of the viral DNA. Then it started reproducing more bacteria. Of the about same type. Still with this part. Then let's take one as an example. They can duplicate zillions of times before breaking up. Then this bacteria will just break up into loads and loads of these viruses. So a zillion, that means too much, right? Okay. Okay, so are you clear? That's why you don't want to have it, that extra. Okay. But they need to reproduce first. Okay? No. Okay, so now let's watch a let's video. Short clip. Okay. Watch. For this one. It's a HDD. Watch. This will be talking about the H I V. Yeah, not the H. The deadliest virus. You might think that Ebola is the deadliest, but it's actually HIV. And it has the recipe design. And the H I V has its own things. It the but also wait. captures some of our proteins. The mm -hmm. little white things is the HTV on the H big one. HIV. Yes. We're not talking about now. I is okay. This is a white blood cell. They always go after the white blood cell. You see, white blood cell they float like this. But what happens if wait, wait, wait? Let's go and look at this first. Okay, let's so look at the top. look at how small the HIV is compared to this red blood cell. And it's quite bright. And white blood cell. white blood cell are even bigger. We haven't made it yet. There, that's a white blood cell. Yes. See, that's see how big. But they can't eat it. They need to infect it. Okay, white blood cell cannot eat these HIV. X, this is actually infected. Look at what happened to the white blood cell after the chase. This virus just infects it, then the cell is destroyed, and then loads of these HIVs come out. You see all these running around? That's another white blood cell. Oh. This virus army is released. That's the next target. Me, right? Yes. So but well, if this is the white blood cell and the HTV go not HTV. I mean you think you're watching TV? I, I think you're <laughs> watching TV. I think I mean it's your IV what if it goes go inside. Okay, yeah. But we actually haven't finished those T4 bacterial what something right. Actually the Okay, back to your fridge. Okay, actually, you remember the splitting? When they yeah. split, they need some, some kind of chemical or UV light, okay? Then they can break open. Okay, but the UV light won't break open, open our DNA. No, those are the bacteria. Oh. Okay, but UV light are also harmful to us. Yes, that what I say DNA. Yeah, it can be damaged. Yes, damage a lot. No, wait, they damage like this. Okay, then this went very well. And we can die easily because of this. Okay? Okay, so remember the HIV is the deadliest, right? Yes. Okay, so this HIV, remember, it can travel along with our blood stream. I said yes. with with our blood, not with our bloodstream, because that it doesn't travel beside the bloodstream. It travels inside the blood, okay? With the blood. Yes. Then they always target for white blood cell or our immune cells. So this is what's so bad about 
HIV immune cell. Okay, this is what's so bad about HIV. Okay, we'll talk more about it in the next few lessons, okay? Yes? Okay, so this lesson we'll learn something first, okay? Wait, and remember, you'll be like... Okay, no, 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 I'm not talking about that. Okay, so can we end here? Okay.